Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be customising these white shoes that I got from Primark. I think they're about £8. They've been sitting in my art room for a while and I finally got around to doing them. So I'm going to be customising them with some Animal Crossing because I've been obsessed with the new Animal Crossing game and I can't stop playing it so I thought I would make myself some shoes so I could get in some Nook Miles. Yes, yes, this video will be full of puns like normal. So I decided to take off the bits of the shoe that I didn't want to paint, just the edges, and I painted the outsides green, the green of the Animal Crossing grass, and I wanted to add some characters. So, because I didn't want the shoes to be too mismatched, I decided to do the Nook characters, Tommy and Timmy Nook, the little guys that you go to for help and sell stuff to at the campsite. I'm, because they're quite adorable and I thought it would be quite quite good to put them on the shoes because they are twins so it means the shoes would sort of match. So I used my acrylic paint for this to do the base colour and then I went over the top with my paint pens. I used them in the big fish that I did of the library furniture. I'll leave a link to that so you can go and see what that is if you missed it. And I did the little triangle pattern all over both shoes and after doing this I never want to see another triangle again. Pizza is the only exception to this rule. <laughs> anyway I decided to add the little nook character on one side and on the other side a couple of items that you can pick up off the ground so I did a stick because that was the first thing I thought of out of all the things a stick but I do quite like the stick design so it's okay. So yeah here's me colouring in the leaf of the stick. And I also did an orange on this side and on the other shoe I did some cherries and a fossil because I quite like the fossil design. And here I am painting in the nook, let's say this one is Tommy because why not, I'm painting with my actual acrylic paints and this is quite nice and easy to do, it was quite therapeutic and I also went round each item and each character with the white pen, the white paint pen, just to make it pop out a little bit more and just to give it that bit more professional look, I guess not quite professional but you know what I mean, I wanted it to stand out so here I am just painting his face and because I went over his eyes with the black pen to put the pupil into his eyes doesn't have any pupils for a while because I was actually quite patient and let it dry so he's gonna look a little bit scary while you watch me fill in the triangles but just go with it he does get eyes eventually and yeah I had really good fun painting these and they turned out a lot better than I expected because I've, I've customized shoes before but I've only done it with sharpies and alcohol to make it spread I leave a link to that video as well if you want to see that I never actually painted on shoes before and I knew that it would be okay because these are canvas shoes and you normally paint on canvas so that that was fine but I wasn't entirely sure how it would turn out and I was really pleased with how it turned out. I was getting a little bit frustrated and impatient with all of these triangles but at the same time it was quite nice to see it kind of come together. I didn't do the exact pattern because I thought that would that would be too much and that would push me over the edge. I just did a randomised pattern of triangles and I tried to stick to the colours that are in the game. But I do think it's worked well and the only frustrating thing was with the pens, the surface was a little bit rough, especially over the top of the layer of acrylic paint. So it did scratch on the nib a little bit and some flicks of the paint pen did go onto the background so that was something I did have to just touch up later but it wasn't too bad it was quite it was all right. So I've really been enjoying the new Animal Crossing game New Horizons and I just love how adorable it is it's actually one of the first proper Animal Crossing games I've actually played I did play Pocket Camp and I do play Pocket Camp a little bit but this has just been so much fun and I called my island Gallifrey because I thought that would be really funny and my island has peaches and I am really struggling at the moment to get enough iron because I really want to open the shop but I'm really struggling to find iron it's just a bit of a grind but some of my little villagers are helping me I've got a moose which is a mouse which I think is quite adorable and I also have hazel so yeah I'm having a good time been stung a lot been bitten by tarantulas a lot but we're powering through been getting some good gifts out of trees 
I actually got a bidet out of a tree, so that's cool. And I also have some dungarees, so my Animal Crossing character matches Charlie and I have some dungarees. So yeah, I'm just really obsessed with Animal Crossing at the moment. So let me know in the comments below whether you're playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let me know what your island is called, what your favourite part of the game is, and who your two first villagers were. And also let me know what fruit, fruit you have as well, because there's lots of different ones. So for the tongue of the shoe, I decided to paint it like the water in Animal Crossing. So it's almost like it's the bit in the middle. So the laces cross it like in it's a crossing. Yeah, you see what I did there? So I thought I would do a nice water scene and I would paint some shadows of fish in there as well. Because in Animal Crossing, you fish for fish. But you don't always get fish. Sometimes you get tyres and cans and old boots, which can be a bit annoying unless you need them for a DIY project. So yeah, I decided to paint a couple of shadows of fish. And for this, I did my old trusty mixing blue and brown paint to get the dark shadows. And I just did three or four on each tongue. I didn't do too many because I knew it would be covered up by the laces. So here is the blue. And now I am just painting on the fish shape. And I think this worked quite well, although when I put the laces on, you don't really see as much of it as I thought you would. It looks almost looks better without the laces on, so you can see the colour and you can see the contrast, but I think it still works out really, really well. So, if you are new to my channel, my name is Katie. I make art videos. I don't just do customization. I do a various variety of videos. I have quite a lot of DIY project videos that you can look through if you're looking for some more ideas. Uh, I have my own little mouse character called Charlie. I do challenges, speed paints. It's quite a bit of a variety of art on this channel, but I do try and have fun. So do feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a future video because I don't really have a schedule at the moment. I'm just uploading when I want to because I do have a bit more free time. And if you like this video, you know, emotionally, do leave me a like down below as that really does help me out. So I'm just adding the highlights of the water on with the paint pen now. And these paint pens are really, really good. I would recommend them. I can't remember what brand they were, but I might do a separate video about how I recommend them because they are a very good cheap alternative to Posca pens. They do get clogged up a little bit, but I think that is just the nature of these type of pens. So I, you will see me trying to reactivate them a lot on the bit of paper on my desk. Don't worry, it's a bit of paper. It's not my actual desk. So now I'm just finishing off the fossil here. And I do really like getting fossils in the game because when you get a fossil in the game, you can either donate it to the museum or you can sell them and you can sell them for quite a bit of money. So they're a good way to pay off your loan. So yeah, just filling in the fossil and reactivating the pen, filling in the fossil, reactivating the pen. Feel like I'm stuck on a bit of a loop. So I also outlined the fossil and the fruit and the stick with the white pen too, just to make it stand out and to make it match the little nook characters. And I'm really, really pleased I did, did this because it does really stand out against the triangle pattern. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with how these shoes turned out. I had a lot of fun doing them because I was quite surprised at how well these turned out. I am thinking of maybe sometime in the future opening up some commissions, maybe on my Etsy shop where people can commission me to customize shoes in their own kind of style or what, what they would like. I'm not sure. I need to look into how feasible this will be. But yeah, I think I think that could be a good a good thing to do. And now I am just finishing off Tommy or Timmy. I can't remember which one is which. I actually don't know which one was. It's the other nook that I didn't do earlier. I'm just finishing off his eyes and I just have the last little bit of triangles to go on this one and then I have the tongue to do. I've also tried a little bit of a different sort of filming style in this video. I haven't sped anything up. I think I only actually sped one clip up because a lot of this is very samey because I had to do two shoes and they are very similar. They're not exactly the same. They are sisters, not twins. The shoes are sisters, not twins, a bit like eyebrows. Um, yeah, so I decided to do some kind of live action, sort of live action, real time, that's the word, some real time footage rather than speeding it up and just cut it rather than speed it up like I normally do. I'm not sure which style I prefer. Maybe a mixture is good, but I do quite like just 
looking at the real-time clips. It's better for my laptop. My laptop much prefers it when I have real-time clips and it's much better for rendering and I usually get a better quality video when I do this. So I might do a little bit more of this in the future, but we'll see. I'm just experimenting really and finding out what is best for me. So for the laces, I wanted to do some charms and I got out my shrink plastic because I love shrink plastic. I did four of my favourite characters. I did Bunny, Isabel, Lily and Rosie and Rosie is my probably my absolute favourite. She is just adorable and I used my polychromos pencils. I sanded down the plastic first and did some really tiny little charms and then I cut them out and put them in the oven and yeah I thought they would make a nice little addition to the shoelaces I didn't want to do too many I just so I just did four two on each and yeah I'm really pleased with how these turned out as well because they turned out so so tiny and so cute and I also used my hole punch as well to punch a hole in them so I could attach a jump ring before I put them in the oven so once I had finished drawing these little little characters I cut them out and Put them on my baking tray put them in the oven and then once they came out of the oven and had cooled down i varnished them with some clear nail varnish because that's what i normally do i didn't use resin because i needed the hole i needed the hole for the jump rings but i varnished them with with some clear nail varnish and yeah they turned out super super cute and i attached them to the laces so here I am now just lacing up the shoes and I'm adding a couple of little charms that I thought would match Animal Crossing theme quite well. And yeah, I really think the characters on the laces do finish off the shoes quite nicely and I am so pleased with how this turned out. And here is the final result. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.